Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. The message I heard is, there's a lesson he will learn from messing with my child. The scripture comes from Nehemiah 5 and 6. I was extremely angry when I heard the reasons they had for complaint. After some deliberation, I called the nobles and the magistrates to account, saying to them, you are exacting interest from your own kinsmen. I then rebuked them severely, saying unto them, as far as we are able, we brought back our fellow Jews who have been sold to Gentiles. You, however, are selling your own brothers mm, to have them bought back by us. They remained silent for they could find no answer. I continue, what you are doing is not good. Should not you should you not walk in the fear of our God and put an end to the derision of our Gentile enemies? I myself, my kinsmen, and my attendants have lent the people money and grain without charge. Let us put an end to this usury. I ask that you return them this very day to their fields, their vineyards, their olive groves, and their houses together with the interest on the money, the grain, the wine, and the oil that you have lent them. They answered, we will return everything and exact nothing further from them. We will do just what you ask. Then I called for the priests and had them administer an oath to these men that they would do as they had promised. I also shook out the fields of my garment, saying, thus may God shake from his home and his fortune every man who fails to keep the promise. And may he thus be shaken out and empty. And the whole assembly answered, amen, and praised the Lord. Then the people did as they promised. So here's the message. There is somebody, 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 somebody that is trying to capture you. This person is trying to sell. Like they, I, I, I hear, like this is somebody that is, they are insisting to put somebody into slavery. They are insisting, they are persistent. God said he didn't ask them several times to leave you alone. All the way alone. God says this person is going to learn today. God says he will feel the wrath of God for constantly messing with his child because you belong to God and that's it. You belong to God and that's it. It's, this message says you are exacting interest from your own kinsmen. I then rebuked them severely, saying to them, as far as we were able, we brought back our fellow Jews who had been sold to the Gentiles. You, however, are selling your own brothers to have them brought back by us. So this is somebody, every time God pull you out and sends you along your way, this person tries to pull you back so that they can uh, sell you or uh, put, sell you into slavery. This is somebody that is insisting, insisting, insisting on doing this thing after God has told them time and time again, no. But they keep enacting out this plan. God said he is rebuking them. He is rebuking them. He is rebuking them. He is rebuking them. I hear God saying the well has run dry. It's over. It's finished. It's done. You're going to have to go and, and uh, dig a hole somewhere else. God said it is over. 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 What you are doing is not good. Should you not walk in the fear of our God and put an end to the derision of our Gentile enemies? God is saying, like God is saying that this person is not walking in fear of him. And whenever you are walking in a way where you are not fearing God, you are going, you are headed towards trouble. You are headed towards trouble, 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 trouble. God says, don't worry about this. You don't have to worry about this. Don't worry about a thing. God says he got this because he is the one that will rebuke them. He is the one that will rebuke them. He is the one that will rebuke them. He said, don't you, vengeance belongs to God. Vengeance belongs to God. God says this person is going to get their just due for messing with you because he asked them to leave you alone. You belong to God. Whoever this is for, you have already repented of all sin. You belong to Christ. You belong to Christ. You belong to Christ. You belong to God. And they can't have you.
and they cannot have you and they cannot have you they can go ahead and hang up them plans they they can let them dreams go god said it is over and finished for them they are uh they have absolutely lost their minds if they think that they are going to get you from his grasp because you are his child and every time they keep trying they keep trying Thus may God shake from his home and his fortune every man who fails to keep this promise, and may he thus be shaken out and empty. God says if this part, like every time, it, like this person is receiving wrath from God every time they mess with you. Every time they are receiving the just do wrath. Every time they try to um, do something in an attempt to get you attacked, God is going to ensure that they get attacked. Anytime they wish harm upon you, which I hear God saying wish death upon somebody, they will receive, they will receive a portion. That will be their cup. Everything that they keep trying to pour into your cup is not going in. I like I can see God putting his hand over your cup. This person can no longer pour evil onto you. Every amount of evil that they are wishing upon you, it is going to them. God says those that curse you will be cursed and those that bless you will be blessed. And that's the end of it. And that's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.